Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between. And we're still working on our textures, or faux textures, and in this one we're going to be honey marble. Uh, basically, slight off brown marble. And it's, uh, I'll show you how to accomplish that effect, as asked for by you. So, we're going to start off with a white base coat of this piece of terrain, the same kind of terrain we've been doing for the last few weeks, just uh, making it look textured and marble-like. And so it's a, we're just going to base coat it white first, and then we're going to start on the bronze skin. Now bronze skin is kind of a caramel, coffee-ish color, and that's why I'm going for it. It's, it's, a, it's like a, it's a caramel coffee color, very light brown. So we'll first start off with, what I did was I mixed it really heavily with glaze medium and some thinner. So it's very, very thin, as you can see, it's, it's, it's glaze medium. So I'm going to apply it just in random patterns all over the piece of terrain first, and that'll just establish a, a kind of a base color for it. And then what we'll do is we'll use white and the bronze skin stippling later on to blend it really in. So we're just this is just gonna be like a background uh, glaze just to get that color into the, the piece of terrain. As you can see, it dries very, very light brown uh, caramel color, essentially. And so basically what I did was I mixed it with a two one mix of bronze skin and lamium medium and then I did three drops of glaze medium to make it really really thin as you see it's a very it's it's a glaze texture to it. And we'll start off by getting the uh, some pieces just random pattern all over the uh, piece of train. And you can then spread it out a little bit with the uh, just a dried brush because as you can see it's really thin and, and it hasn't dried yet because uh, because glaze medium has a bit of retardant into it. And then we'll take some bronze skin and just do a quick stippling as well in just again a random pattern all over the white areas of the, uh, the piece of terrain. And it's really cool these, these patterns just, you know, you do random and uh, it just looks, uh, and it ends up having a cool pattern to it. So as you see, I'm just having a very light stippling with my large round stipple brush. And I'm just getting all the, uh, the white areas. So now we got our bronze skin as well. Uh, the key is, as I said, just light stippling. Because if we're going over white, you want to be pretty careful because otherwise you'll overwhelm the white and just quickly paint it all brown. So now that's done, we got our piece of terrain here. And uh, we're going to take our bronze skin once again. And this is just, uh, this is not the one that, it's not the same part that I was used uh, at the beginning. This is the one I was using for the dry brush. I had two different batches of the bronze skin, one with, with glaze me and one without it. And I'm just going to do some veins going the general direction of the patterns. Just create some light veining over the train. And it's starting to get that marble-esque appearance, but we're going to use some stippling with white uh, to really bring it together again. really heavily stippled in the browns. But right now the key is just get nice thin veins going in the direction of the patterns. When that's done, time to take some white scar, and I'm going to just put a little bit on my dome brush, and I'm going to stipple. So as you can see, I'm just going to stipple very lightly white around the areas that we did the glaze, and around the veins. And what we'll end up doing is it'll blend, it'll really blend in these areas into the background, and it'll really thin down the veins and lighten them significantly, so it really gives that marble texture then back to the, the piece, because we have the stippling of the browns overlapped by the stippling of the white, oh, and that on top of the glaze, it really creates that, that the, uh, the honey marble effect and color. And this is just really starting to blend in with the areas. And you can go a little bit heavier on the white if you want, and just go to the texture that you want. And now we're going to take our, some chestnut brown from Reaper, and uh, we're going to just do a little heavier of the veins. We're going to just pick some parts of the veins and make them a little bit darker. Just to uh, make kind of highlight them up, really uh, make your, them stand out. So I'm going over the, the veins and just certain parts of it. And of course, it, they are thin colors, so they do dry a little bit more blended in. But uh, 
Yeah, that's it. So we're just creating some more veins. We've already got our, our stippling pattern. So right now, once again, I'm just creating some very thin veins just to, in the direction of the patterns. And we pretty much got our marble texture because of all the stippling. That's nice for our honey marble. And here's what the piece looked like when I was completely done uh, before applying the, uh, the, sat the, sorry, the gloss varnish on top. So as you can see, it just has a lot of texture to it and the veins. And the key is, as I said, just to go over with the browns and then go over that with the white afterwards and blend it all in together. And if you are unhappy, you can add some more brown stippling in afterwards just to, to balance it out. And here's what the piece looked like after I added a gloss varnish to it. So this is nice and shiny and has that honey marble uh, look to it with the texture and some veins. And that's it. It wasn't too hard of an effect to accomplish. The key is, as I said, just to take your time, get some nice patterns going, go in a random thing, and then just go work with the patterns with the veins. And uh, you've got your marble. And then always hit it with a gloss varnish afterwards just to get that nice marble shine to it in the end. And that's it. So, so as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. Stay tuned for next week's episode, part 128, which is just around the corner. But if you don't want to wait for next week, check out The Warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel. We're not going to get to see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes for anyone else. You'll see over 100 start to finish painting tutorials, battle reports, face-off episodes, just an excellent array of content. I know you'll love it, so go check out The Warp. And until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.